Hey guys, welcome to the end of summer 2021. I hope you guys all survived and are virus free and didn't catch it during the summer. Of course, we've got a spike right now, but that's nothing to worry about if you're vaccinated. Anyway, I'm on Lake Ray Roberts today. You know, this is my home water and it is hot, uh, temperature hot. Fishing is slow way down because of the heat. And uh, you know, my thing is carp. And so I really had a hard season this year as far as carp because of all, of, of all the rain we've had. We had six inches in two days, two to three days last week. So it raised the lake again. Fish are confused, I'm confused, but still I try. Um, as you saw, hopefully there's some video kind of interlaced in here. I think I'm, I think I put it in the beginning. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. <laughs> I did catch some carp. It's a, a situation where, let me give you some factors you want to look for if you're fly fishing for carp on a lake. Number one is you want to see floating vegetation that they rooted up from the bottom and it's just, you know, three to five feet of water and the fish will be up shallower rooting in that stuff. When they root it, it comes free and it floats around. So it's like, a, I think they call it a horsetail or a, like a foxtail or something like that. It's underwater vegetation. And there's different kinds of leaves you'll see floating. So that's one. And number two is you want to be in open facing, not in um, coves anymore while it's this hot. So guys, let me show you what I'm talking about when I talk about fly fishing the outer edges for carp. Because like I said, on the inside, it's too hot right now. So here's what an outer edge looks like, and here's where you can find fish. I call it kind of a, a punch. What I do is I punch in with the, with the trolling motor, cut it off far enough away not to disturb, and then get my shot. But it's not like the shots on the flat. There's not nearly as many shots. But this is what an outward facing uh, carp area looks like right there. So that's what you're looking for, something like that. You can find that. And you'll see some, some uh, plumes, some mud plumes. You'll see some mud plumes over there, and those plumes are carp feeding on the bottom. So they're just cleaning up what's left of the outer vegetation. I see two of them over there. And uh, that's what fly fishing for carp on the outer edges looks like. Um, this season, this is the end of August, this season now in North Texas used to end right about now, but now because of global warming, it runs another two months into October and we get a big bite at the end uh, of the season before they go deep for the winter. So I've got that to look forward to. So what I'm doing right now is exploring other areas that I want to look at because uh, there's no pressure on me and there's no pressure anywhere around here. <laughs> so I'm looking around. Uh, Oji. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's there's a, a drum there actually. I spooked him at first, but then uh, sure enough, he came back and ate it. Great thing about these freshwater drums are a lot like your regular saltwater drums, except they're uglier, even uglier. Uh, you know, fun fish for sure. Oh, come here, come here. I know you're tired. I know you're tired. <laughs> Good color on that guy. Huh. He's pretty. <laughs> um, on the scroll, which is provided by TPWD, check it out. There's fish biting on the coast. The, the moon phase, check, check your moon phase and your tides that go with that. Um, you know, that makes a difference in your coastal fishing. I had a guy contact me, Texas A&M student. He's a young guy, didn't have much money, was going to DIY it, and I kind of helped him figure out the difference between full moon and new moon and stuff like that. If you have questions about moon phases, I'm not a genius. You can figure it out on your own pretty easily. Um, better than I can ever say it, you can read it. Um, but be sure you know your moon phases and your tides for uh, a coastal trip of your own making. And uh, there's reasons for that. Uh, usually uh, I have articles on www.texasflycaster.com that do talk about tides and charts and all these other things that make for a good um, odds when you go out. Right now we're not rolling any sevens. There's not a lot of luck uh, today. I think it's like the 23rd of August. Um, so it's virtually dead calm now. So I'll keep looking and we'll throw some footage in here. Meanwhile, check out the scroll. Um, if you have questions, put them down there. Like and subscribe. Be sure to visit www.texasflycaster.com. And guys, 
thanks for being with me this summer. I know that um, the uh, the uh, reports are spotty, but then I base my reports on things things going on. I'm an unusual fisherman in that uh, I'm a journalist too, trained in journalism, and I always tell the truth. So if it ain't happening, it ain't happening. Right now, I can this <laughs> this tree's happening, <laughs> so we're drifting in the trees. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later.